This is showing the apparatus for the experiment measuring the kinetics of the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. We have a lab quest with a temperature and a pressure probe similar to what were used, similar, it's the same thing, as what was used for the vapor pressure experiment. We have a test tube where the reaction will take place and that's in a water bath, so we'll have temperature control and we'll be measuring the total pressure change with time. And that pressure is going to come from the production of oxygen from decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. And let's see, here are the two reactants. It's 3% by weight hydrogen peroxide and 0.5 molar potassium iodide. Now, one comment about the color. Potassium iodide is colorless. It looks like white crystals, but in aqueous solution is colorless. That brown color comes from the air oxidation of the iodide, the I minus, to make I2, which is brown in water. If this was a um, experiment where it was very important to get good numbers for decomposition, you would want to make this solution carefully and carefully determine the concentration, both for the hydrogen peroxide and for the potassium iodide. Here I'm going to use the syringe to measure the volume of the hydrogen peroxide and I've got the bottom of the plunger right on the 4.0 milliliter mark. I'm going to put that in the temperature bath and let it sit in the temperature bath to sit for several minutes to come to thermal equilibrium. And as a departure that your professor probably doesn't know about, um, I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. And I'm gonna use this syringe with potassium iodide in it. I'm gonna seal it up with parafilm and I'm going to put that in the hot water. Actually, it's room temperature water but I'm gonna put that into the room temperature water instead of the procedure that's in your lab right up. So that'll something be something that I'll talk to your professor about. And you'll just need to make note of it in the procedure. Okay, so here goes. So, Removing, not removing the hydrogen peroxide, removing the potassium iodide solution, removing the parafilm. Now I'm removing the hydrogen peroxide solution. Inject the potassium iodide mix. Put back in the water bath, add the stopper tightly, and there are bubbles being formed, and I'll start the lab quest. And I believe you can see the bubbles being formed. So this thing is going to run until the stopper pops out, or for five minutes, it's set for 300 seconds. But if we've got a nice uh, tight fit, um, we ought to make enough gas that that stopper pops out. So, and let's see, temperature is 27.5. I'm gonna record that. On the lab quest, I can see that the pressure is going up at 65 seconds. The pressure has risen to 107 kilopascals. Reminder, atmospheric pressure is about 100 kilopascals. And let's see, at 110 seconds, the pressure is 118 kilopascals.
And while y'all are enjoying this, I'm going to just start measuring out the solutions for a repeat of the run. And there it went.